Thank you, Mr. Chairman, for holding this hearing. However stark Americans' differences of opinion can be on the matter of abortion generally, there has been long bipartisan agreement that federal taxpayer funds should not be used to destroy innocent life. The Hyde Amendment, named for its chief sponsor, former House Judiciary Committee Chairman Henry Hyde, has prohibited the federal funding of abortion since 1976 when it passed a House and Senate that was composed overwhelmingly of Democratic members. It has been renewed each appropriation cycle with few changes over the last 38 years, supported by Congresses controlled by both parties and presidents from both parties. It is probably the most bipartisan pro-life proposal sustained over a longer period of time than any other. As such, it warrants codification in the United States Code. H.R. 7, the No Taxpayer Funding for Abortion Act, would do just that by codifying the two core principles of the Hyde Amendment throughout the operations of the federal government, namely a ban on federal funding for abortions and a ban on the use of federal funds for health benefits coverage that includes coverage of abortion. During the time the Hyde Amendment has been in place, probably millions and millions of innocent children and their mothers have been spared the horrors of abortion. The Congressional Budget Office has estimated that the Hyde Amendment has led to as many as 675,000 fewer abortions each year. Let that sink in for a few precious moments. The policy we are discussing today has likely given America the gift of millions more children and consequently millions more mothers and millions more fathers, millions more lifetimes and trillions more loving gestures and other human gifts in all their diverse forms. What a stunningly wondrous legacy. Thank you, Chairman Franks, for convening this hearing, and thanks also to Representative Chris Smith for sponsoring this vital legislation. I look forward to hearing from our witnesses today. However, I want to just want to say one more thing, Mr. Chairman. Uh, uh, the gentleman from New York uh, made reference to it being a radical departure from uh, uh, insurance policies, but the real radical departure here is the fact that now we will have, for the first time, federal subsidies of health insurance policies in America. And so that is the radical departure that we are facing, and that is why legislation is needed to address the fact that this will be a major, substantial breach uh, in the Hyde Amendment, the policy of the United States of America since 1976, and I thank you and yield back.